It's hard for Deja Antoine to realize that her college basketball career has come to an end. It's a sport where she's always brought high intensity and was never afraid of any challenge. Yeah, baby. I was a kid, I started off playing outside after school. I'd go outside, hang out with my guys, play basketball on the outside hoop. So I tried out for basketball in seventh grade. And I was like, you know what, I'm good at this. So I'm gonna keep doing it. And um, I just got great at it. And I love the game of basketball, like I've been doing it all my life. It made me feel actually good that I could take the, you know, I could take anybody, even the boys. I was scoring on the boys, so it made me feel real good. She always has adapted, not just on the court, but also off the court. Deja is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Her college career started in Florida, where she attended Florida A&M in Tallahassee, which is an HBCU school. She then transferred to Kentucky State University, which is also an HBCU school. Being a psychology and sociology major, she's always been fascinated by different cultures and learning the history. I didn't see myself going to, you know, HBCU, but I, I didn't mind like the school. Like, it's just whatever opportunity that I had. I didn't pick it. Like, I didn't say, oh, you know, I want, I want to go to an HBCU. It was just like whatever opportunity I have. They open my eyes. Um, it's very different at HBCUs compared to Mount Mercy. I can compare Kentucky State. Um, it's just the environment. Like, it's, like Mount Mercy is, is very diverse. You know. Um, Kentucky State, you got like one culture, obviously it's an HBCU, so everybody's like coming from that background. It just allowed me to really look at some things, not differently, but like actually understand why going to HBU can be important for, you know, a black African American woman as I am. So I feel like that's important, learning my history and knowing my culture so I can understand how to work through ways that what I'm trying to do. After two seasons with Kentucky State, Antoine moved further inland, transferring to Mount Mercy University. It was a chance to play more basketball, but also the university is very well known for its international program, which gave Antoine a chance to learn more about other cultures. I see them coming in like speaking different languages, right? So like I try to like listen and like try to guess what they saying. So I'll guess it and they'll laugh at me sometimes cause I get it wrong. <laughs> but it's still good like hearing different languages. It's cool man, I, like, I love to learn that. So they always talk their language and I try to catch on, but yeah, it's real cool. Are there some languages that you do know just a few words at all or? <laughs> I say a little Spanish like, come on to yama, something like yeah. that, you know? <laughs> Is Anaisa taught you any French at all? Or? A little bit, a little bit. I know use a little bit, but I say French is kind of hard for me to learn. You know, I'm trying to get the Spanish first, take it step by step. As Deja prepares to move on in the next phase of her life, she can't wait to use the knowledge that basketball has taught her, but also the history she has been around as well. Growing up, I say being around different people from different cultures, it's like, it's different, you know, in different areas. So I say from what, where I come from, it's like way different from Iowa. Obviously, I'm from Florida, so it's, it's way different. So I feel like it's very important for me to know how to adapt and, you know, bring that type of energy of where I come from to here.